everyone, I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. With that, it's time for the AFC Championship. And to call the action as they have all year, here are Brandon Godden. championship and to call the action as they have all year here are brandon godden and charles davis all right larry ea sports coverage of the nfl brings us to the steel capital of the world pittsburgh pa at heinz field straight ahead it's a clash to decide the afc's representative in the super bowl and it'll be a great one between the oakland raiders and the pittsburgh steelers this will be fielded at the six Antonio Brown, kiss him goodbye. The 30, pass the 20, and into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. 
Antonio Brown, 94 yards. And the Steelers have taken a first quarter lead. Caleb Sturgis now for the point after. And he'll put it through to make it 7 0 Steelers. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Carry for the former Tar Heel Elijah Hood. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Nice job by the defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Call it an eight-yard gain. Much better shape now on third and just a yard. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. He loses four, and it brings up fourth. And partner, in a lot of short yardage situations, you'll see the linebackers step up into the gaps, what we call mugging the line of scrimmage, to make sure they take away all spaces, all creases. That one worked really well for them. They only needed a yard, instead went backwards. 12 yards on the return that time. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. First down with Roethlisberger. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Now a carry for the former Michigan State man, Le'Veon Bell. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. And the defense searches for one more stop here after the run on second down. Roethlisberger now to throw on third down. Goes underneath for Bell. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. There's Roethlisberger. And this is caught by Martavis Bryant. A big play that time for Pittsburgh. 56 yards. You know, when I see passes like that, I'm reminded of something you and I talked about yesterday. Big Ben was a wide receiver the first three years of high school, sitting behind the coaches. And he's in. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Ben Roethlisberger taking it in. And the Steelers are going to add on to their lead. And maybe the defense caught a little by surprise there that he took off and got in. Yeah, I would think so, because if you're analyzing it from that side of the ball, you're thinking running back, fullback. <laughs> it takes you a while before you get to the quarterback. Sturgis out now to kick this one off. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback.
And now Oakland ready to take the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. First down, Carr. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. And to give this time to the tailback. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Stephon Tuitt came out of Notre Dame as another one of those really tall defensive ends, and you just wonder, would they be able to have the leverage to bend and make plays? I think he just gave us an answer with that tackle. On second down, here's Carr. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going to go down. Bud Dupree from his outside linebacker spot, forcing the sack for a loss of eight. Carr and the Raiders following the sack, looking up at a third and long. Looking from the gun, it's Carr. Being chased out left. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. And they had an extra defensive back on the field on that play, and the coverage was excellent. He tried to... And the first play will be a field goal try. This from 54 yards away. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3. to So he splits the uprights there. And I would imagine it's nice as a kicker. Right when it leaves your foot, you know it's good. Yeah, it's kind of like a golfer that picks up his tee after a nice drive without even watching it land. Solid analogy. I like it. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line, it's a sack. Deshaun Hall. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. A fake to Bell. Now it's Roethlisberger. And they're going to sack him yet again. The pass rush has been relentless. This time, it yields a safety. And you know, the man who sat in my chair the last few years, he has a theory. These plays, these safeties, they're so rare. Maybe they should be worth more than two, maybe four points. I think he's got a great point. I really do, Brandon. But I would go ahead and up it to six. I'm a former defender. Ooh. To me, that's like scoring a touchdown. Easy now. I'll go four. I don't know about six. Come on, come on. Come up to six. <laughs> a lot of points. Now the Oakland offense heading back onto the field to take over. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. Blitz coming and down he goes. Bud Dupree coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. 
That'll get a little bit back, give him five on the run, and they'll be left with a third and 13. Here's Carr. And unable to connect on the long pass. It falls down incomplete. But no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves, gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. And the last time they had the football, they surrendered two points on the safety. Well, they don't want to do that one again. No, not at all. It's almost like a bases clearing double, isn't it? Give up a couple of runs. Sure. <laughs> just, mess, just messes things up for you offensively. But now they've got to go ahead, take it, set it aside, and move forward. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. That one good for 14 yards and a Steeler first. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you give them three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Josh Gordon, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up third down. They kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Now a first down carry by Bell. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And it'll be second and 12. Now Roethlisberger flushed to his right. It's caught by Bryant. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And here comes play number six on this drive. In motion, James, the tight end. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. <laughs> on second down, Roethlisberger. Throw here's incomplete. Antonio Brown, the intended receiver. And it's third down. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. On third down, Roethlisberger. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. Deshaun Hall. He's the one that gets him down. It'll be a loss of five, and it'll bring up fourth down. And this one is right down the middle. And that will give them a 12-point lead. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive only yields three points. Yeah, they were able to move the football, but the defense stiffened once their backs were to the end zone, and they were able to hold them to just three. Then he'll take this across the 25 couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line and now here come the Raiders and down on the scoreboard certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive punting the football sense of urgency has to take over for them here they know the score they know the situation and by the way the punter no longer exists for their offense that's how they have to treat this drive they need points big time on first and ten here's Carr over the middle it's Jared Cook. And he 
he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Give him 12 yards that time at an Oakland first down. Now Carr maybe with a free play. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Cook. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. So following the penalty, now first and five. Card out of throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by T.J. McDonald. How about that interception? Like father, like son. Tim McDonald Sr. had 40 interceptions in the NFL, playing with Arizona and San Francisco. His son trying to follow in his footsteps. After the interception, here's Roethlisberger. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. Second and ten, it's Roethlisberger once more. And he comes back with one complete. That catch good for five. It's third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. From the gun on third down, it's Roethlisberger. Buying time to his left. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 28. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit, and receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from Yeah, him. so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open. Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Throwing on second down. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Well, one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Third and long, it's Carr. Trying for Cooper again, this time he finds him. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Car and that is incomplete seven seconds remaining Amari Cooper his intended receiver that'll bring up second down I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here but that looks like an ill-advised throw to me I didn't see anything open and this play just didn't look right from the beginning it did not I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away dangerous pass incomplete Carl will try it again on second down and this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the right hash, this from 53. And that is no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Yeah, who has time for a halftime show with a trip to the Super Bowl on the line? Let's get back to it. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number 
three. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Out comes the Raiders offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But oh, this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just... Rush coming, and he's taken down. Ryan Shazier not dropping into coverage. He comes on the blitz and takes him down for a loss of nine. Carr and the Raiders following the sack, looking up at a third and long. Here's Carr to throw. Dancing to his left. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. And partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. <laughs> Good open field tackling there. A 50-yard punt followed by just a one-yard return. And possession will switch hands first and ten. Time for the Steelers' offense now to get set for their first possession of half number two. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. And how about the boost the defense gave? Le'Veon Bell! Kiss him goodbye! 30, 10, and into the end zone! Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Le'Veon Bell, 74 yards. And the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead. And that one makes this a 19-point game. Sturgis out now to kick this one off. On the return, here's a dangerous Cordero Patterson. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. The Raiders offense now making their way back out onto the field. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax. Cordero Patterson, 20, 10, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Cordero Patterson, 68 yards. And the Raiders make some inroads here on that deficit. And they're able to cut the deficit to 12. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the six. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep. And down he goes. Brought down a Raiders sack. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. On second down, it's Bell. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. It'll be a loss of one. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Now that play was doomed right from the start. They just about ran into every defender on that one, didn't he? It felt like everyone got a piece of that tackle. 
Now Roethlisberger. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Carl Joseph. And he'll take this back all the way up past the 45-yard line. Most third and long, and you've got a few different ways to play it offensively. But this is not the type of offense that's going to wave the white flag. They're going to keep chucking it. And this time, it results in an interception. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Now after the INT, it's Carr. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. Give him 12 yards that time and an Oakland first down. Now that's often a surprise for the defensive guys when they see the big fella slide out of the backfield and catch the ball. Not something they usually go over in practice very often. Carr now on first down. And an alley to run. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. It's a gain of seven, and that'll make it a second down. Car to throw on second down. Forced out to his left. And some room to work. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15. Carr can beat you in a lot of ways. The scramble there, a perfect example as he gets the first. Offensively, they like their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tucking in run time, and he picks up a first down. Zone. It's Carr. And that's going to be caught for a Raider touchdown. Clive Walford, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Raiders are back within a score. Boy, that route is really tough to cover because if they're running it correctly, you think it's really going to be a slant. Yeah, well, we talk all the time about how it's tough to execute offensively, but you're saying, don't forget, it's tough to cover for the defense, too. Yeah, the number one thing that you're taught is to not get caught inside or get beat inside. So you guard that a little bit more. So that gives you a little bit more space to operate outside if you start your move initially inside if you're a receiver. This will be fielded at the 6. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Steelers' offense now, they head back onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. And they'll keep it on the ground with Bell. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play there. Second down. Kind of running there at your own risk against that 4-3 in that big line, aren't you? Yeah, and I don't really run it against a good 4-3 team that well because I've got to get those guys on the move a little bit. If you're a static running team, meaning you just want to run it in the middle, you may have some trouble against good defensive tackles. That's what we just saw on that play. No gain. On second down, here's Roethlisberger. And the Raiders have got him. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. So the sack, and now a third and long situation for the Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. And that is incomplete. The Steelers try it, but they come up empty on fourth down. And the Raiders with the football now in excellent field position. And they'll start this drive with very good field position. 
And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. Looking to throw on second down. Carr, it's complete to Brown, right side. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. The Raiders on third down, just one for five to this point. Here it's third and two. Carr looking to throw on third and two. He gets it to Brown, complete. And he gets this down to the 18, good enough for a first down. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. On first down, Carr. Looking for Cooper and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 11. And the return just out across the 15 to the 16-yard line. Well, I don't think we'll have to look very hard to find our play of the game. That was an absolutely monstrous big play right there. Backs to the wall. The offense has it in the red zone. Driving for the winning score. And he says, not on my watch. And that is one happy bunch on the sidelines. Bryant with a catch right side. <laughs> They give him a gain of 38. Trying to defend a drag route is really tough because you don't want to jump a route that's shorter or underneath as the drag route is too quickly because oftentimes they want to run that route and then hit over the top of you for bigger yardage. So if you can, if you can chip off the timing of the receiver off the line of scrimmage so he can't actually get into the route, that's the best way to defend it. But there was no possibility of that on that play. End result... Receiver one in a big way. And he's brought down. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down. Executed it to perfection. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be second and 11. Now they'll throw it with Roethlisberger. Over the middle here to Brown. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs. Hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So what do you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Give him nine on the pickup, but they're still a few inches short now on fourth down. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Now Whistles and the Raiders are going to signal for a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. And Sturgis able to knock it through. And that will make this a nine-point lead. 
So barring something extraordinary, something crazy here in the closing stages, that field goal should just about put this one on ice. Brandon, this will be a great win for them. The better team's going to win this game, no question about it. This will be fielded at the eight. And he'll be taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again. But they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that matters is scoring quickly. Then they'll take it from there. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. So step off the five yards. Yeah, partner, you know, defensive end, he wants to get into the offensive backfield. He wants that get off to be as fast as possible. A little too quick on that one. Now Carr. Eluding the pressure right. And he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As he'll get it with just a shade under a minute to go in the game. Car to throw. Over the middle, Cooper with it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A Raider first down, 17 yards. To throw his car. Over the middle, he gets it to Patterson. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. Back to throw, Carr. Steps away to his left. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Back to the air on second down. It's Carr. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it looks like Steeler football. It is. That feels like an accumulation of the pressure we've seen all game. I mean, he's been on the turf a whole lot because of sacks. Eventually, something else happens as well. And this time, it was a turnover. Yeah, caught up to him. Roethlisberger going to throw. He's going to float this one deep right side. And it's incomplete. He's still throwing to the very end. But now this game is over. And all that hard work has paid off. They're AFC champions and on to the Super Bowl they go. It's got to be an amazing feeling for them, doesn't it, Brandon? The idea that you've done it all, all that hard work, all that sweating, all that effort, all those times you're getting yelled at by... I done came up, yeah. busting down the whole host. Broke, broke, a step back. Watch people pick swag. Yeah. Ain't even gotta ask. What are those with his dad? Yeah. Please don't touch my rap. Please don't touch my rap. Please don't touch my rap. I'm racked up like rappers. Uh -huh. I'm wrapped up on camera. Hit, hit out on camera. 
squeeze, squeeze, bite asthma. It's rare wrath when I wear wrath. Bear wrath when I wear wrath. Might invest into some rap shit. Lord, still shit wrath. And I'm dripping on rags. Rick gonna be the tag. Do the digital dash. Yeah, I'm boasting, never brag. Please don't touch my rap. Or the Chris Finn Nash. Alessandra Gucci glasses. The W and the Sick Collab. Yeah, you pop it like like Yeah, you drop it on the phone. I'ma buy another. another. Cut the boys, bring it back. Uh, yeah, you know how to make it last. Plus, uh, and keeping tabs. Uh, I'ma fly first class. Uh, Wave will hit them with them with the. Uh, please don't touch my rest. Don't step on my rest, Simmons. Yeah. Don't step on my rest, Simmons. Don't step on my rest, Simmons. Do you know how much I'm spending? My closet, it worth about a million. To the little out the runway. Yeah. Next, then the kitchen. Ralph Simmons. Uh, all kind of crazy colors. Uh, uh, Living uh, color. Colors. Left wrist, roll it, roll it, ice. Make some more jello, my sweater. Ooh, jello. Mama told me never settle. Smoke. Ralph Simmons, don't lace him. Got your back, you wanna. wanna. Oh. Huh? Wait. Wait. Don't wanna talk about the paper. I swear to God, these got these behaviors. Yeah. They be hating, I feel out of the. Live in corner sack, don't get along. Ooh, right with my neighbors. Diamonds on my neck, and roll it on. Now I later got under the flavors. I'm with my life savers. Ooh, feel like Darth Vader. I'm a boss, you know I'm a riffer. In my basement, yeah. 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 yeah, but you know that I'm gonna face it. Wait, that's the reason that they mad. Color Uzi, yeah, he made it. Yeah, I would have rap for I made it. Yeah, I would have rap for I made it. Yeah, got that rap all in my basement. Yeah, yeah, once they got patience. Yeah, 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 I'm famous. Yeah, put my side aside, Mark Jacob. Hey, making a place with my label. I get it, I count it. Honey on my table. Still a silver lady. Ruby's red, my skin too black to blush, too red to. Tint to not, not pages, the scene on the green on the was it up? Pocket pockets full of mint leaves, been smelling like it brushed tea. Say cheese, see the porcelain, the water see deep. Backwoods, backwoods, raft dragging on the floor, floor, floor. In it, in it. I'm torching the road in these Gucci flames, stuck to the pavement, they glued. I'm two point five million in the venue and twenty five hundred or two. Cold like I'm sick with the flu. I cover my face and I'm in I'm a spring summer 2002. Two, two. Yeah, please don't touch my ride. When the grass teddy with the teddy. Quick with the hands ready. Please don't touch my touch my Please don't touch my ride. Shirt off on cam ready. Let's stop in memory. Please don't pop my tie.